Namaste. Welcome to the new episode of Sahayatra Sambad. I am Shristi Kafle. The United States government's state partnership program SPP created a fresh controversy in Nepal and it has become a talk of the town for quite some time now. Though both the sides, Nepal and US, particularly Nepal Army and US Embassy in Kathmandu, came up with their own versions and clarifications, it has raised several concerns and speculations. It has also raised questions over Nepal's foreign policy and particularly Nepal's non-aligned foreign policy. To discuss more on this today, we have invited a guest in our studio. We have CPNUML Deputy General Secretary and former Foreign Minister Pradeep Gewali. Welcome to the dialogue, sir. Yes, thank you, Mr. Uh, the SPP program received a lot of controversy and though the government has already decided to close the chapter for now, there are a lot of questions. So how do you review this overall process, the overall journey? I think uh, it is the manifestation of some policy deviations uh, government has pursuing since its uh, inception. Uh, last year when there was a government change and this new government took the office, uh, some policies taken by the government were not consistent in uh, to our established principle and uh, very uh, predictable and uh, um, national interest based policies. Uh, you can uh, recall the unnecessary controversy uh, on boundary issues with China. You mm -hmm. can uh, recall the some disputed uh, controversial type of visits of uh, foreign officials and their visit to Tibetan refugee camps and many more. So actually uh, the uh, recent debate on SPP was unexpected. Uh, the draft document which was circulated among some sensitive um, high-level positions uh, that uh, invited a huge, huge controversy and that was a fundamental breach of our established policy. So it is a, a type of continuation of the deviation, uh, foreign policy deviations uh, by this government. Uh, you mentioned about deviation of foreign policy. So what could be its implications in the long run? And do you think it exposed a failure in Nepal side, particularly in diplomacy and leadership? You know, the constitution of Nepal uh, has categorically uh, guides us about uh, the, our foreign policy and our conduct on uh, our external relations. Uh, constitution, the constitution categorically states that our uh, foreign policy should be based upon the principles of non-alignment movement, principle of Panchasila, principle of uh, the UN Charter, and it should be balanced, independent, and it should be based upon our national interest. And for the first time, the, uh, our constitution uh, categorically define what are the core elements of our national interest? The preservance of uh, the uh, national sovereignty, nationality, national independence, uh, territorial integrity, uh, the benefit of uh, Nepali people. Those are the core elements of the uh, national interest and our foreign policy should be guided by uh, those elements. Uh, based upon uh, these policies, uh, Nepal throughout the history has pursued basically a balanced uh, foreign policy and that's why its credit goes to those uh, our policies, consistent policies uh, which have which has contributed to uh, make Nepal always independent, a reliable uh, partner of our foreign uh, friends and uh, we have on huge international support. But 
but such type of deviation creates unnecessary suspicions doubts especially uh, among our immediate neighbors which support is extremely critical for us we should not uh, do any such type of activities which can pose a challenge a question about their genuine interest so to preserve the uh, secure uh, border with uh, india which is open you know and to pursue uh, one china policy and to not to allow any such type of activities which can uh, challenge the uh, national integrity of china those are the fundamental uh, policies and values which sh we should have to pursue always but such type of activities uh, may invite uh, doubts suspicions and uh, such type of geopolitical stress cannot be bear by a country like Nepal. Mm. So you also mentioned about suspicions, trust, deficit, definitely it's there. And the latest episode has further raised concern of the neighbors, particularly China. So how could trust deficit be minimized uh, within neighbors? Prior to taking any decisions, especially which are more sensitive, mm. uh, critical and uh, which uh, can invite such controversy, a government should ponder time and again to take uh, any type of decisions. Uh, it should consult broadly with uh, all stakeholders mm -hmm. and it, we sh it should examine uh, frequently about its implications. So wider consultations uh, broader discussions and uh, um, regular examinations of the implications are extremely important. Second, uh, we should uh, time and again uh, make clear to our neighboring countries and to other development partners and other countries as well, friendly countries, that uh, we have this fundamental uh, guideline, we cannot uh, deviate uh, either this side or that side. So please do not expect uh, such uh, policies or activities from Nepal which uh, can uh, breach the guideline of the uh, constitution. Mm -hmm. We, uh, for Nepal, uh, uh, it is our national interest to uh, deepen our friendship with uh, the countries, not only the neighboring countries, but other countries as well but while uh, developing and deepening our partnership and friendship we uh, uh, we have priorities uh, we have fundamental guidelines and nepal cannot be a part of any uh, that type of groupings strategy or uh, um, other type of collaboration which uh, bears uh, which carries the security or uh, military type of partnership. Uh, Nepal's fundamental uh, policy guideline is pursue of the world peace. peace. So those, those activities or uh, those uh, steps which uh, can raise the questions about, uh, about our integrity and uh, peace that cannot be accepted. So such, a, such type of policy clearance should be shared with our friends without any hesitations mm. and uh, we uh, must uh, dare to uh, say our friends that sorry these are the uh, these are the points which are acceptable to us and these are the points which we cannot accept mm. that type of clear uh, opinion sharing uh, open discussion and trust building is extremely important so do you agree that such type of programs are sensitive uh, partnerships should be decided independently uh, based on the public opinions? Yes, uh, though um, some uh, issues related to the defense uh, security uh, cannot be uh, shared in a broader circle, but at least those experts, uh, policy makers which uh, have 
uh, been contributing uh, since long. Those opinions and those advices uh, are extremely important and we, and we should uh, discuss and we should receive the suggestions from uh, those expert section. Uh, second, um, we should be very careful because you know uh, in global context there are superpowers, they have their own priorities, they have their own perspective to uh, look the uh, globe, they have their own peculiar relations with uh, many countries, some with some they have hostility, with some they have rivalry, uh, with some they are in uh, confrontation, but Nepal cannot be a part of that contestation, that type of uh, hostility. Uh, Nepal has no any that type of big ambition, uh, geographical ambitions. All uh, friendly nations are our friends. We want to uh, develop our friendship uh, with them. We want to uh, their technical uh, support for our development drive. But we cannot uh, join ourselves with any type of uh, military or security alliances or strategies or pact. That is the clear uh, demarcation line in our uh, foreign policy conduct. That should be uh, clearly stipulated and that should be uh, clearly uh, expressed to the friendly nations as well. So for now the SPP chapter has been closed but there are also questions upon its long run uh, following uh, developments. So what should be the leadership mindful of while dealing with such sensitive issues? You have already mentioned a few things, but whenever there is a change in government, they come up with different priorities. So there are still doubts. So what's your suggestions on that side? Actually, uh, we should uh, keep in the mind that when there is the transition in internal politics, uh, such type of issues uh, enter in our national politics and it creates a problem later on. Uh, if you look the chronological order of uh, this uh, phrase issue of SPP, you know this issue was introduced in such a crucial time when Nepal had just uh, was in the eve of the uh, new constitution promulgation. Uh, then the then government, which was outgoing government, it uh, gave a big type of permission to Nepal army to uh, correspondence with uh, the US government at least in such critical uh, time frame any government should be very very careful and it should keep the patience and constraint because nobody know what will be the priority of the uh, new coming government so during such type of crucial uh, transitional phase uh, such type of issues have been uh, moved in the past. So every political party, every government should be very careful. Second, uh, in the early phase, uh, the Nepal army's uh, intention is uh, looks just for the uh, its capacity enhancement for uh, disaster uh, preparedness and disaster management. Mm -hmm. But later on, uh, um, in 2019, uh, the Indo-Pacific strategy was published and uh, the state partnership program was uh, um, come as a part of that broader Indo-Pacific strategy. It created a uh, big, big question and the then government in which I was also a cabinet member uh, in the capacity of the Minister for Foreign Affairs, the government uh, uh, formed a task force to look at whole perspective 
and uh, then it was uh, you can say uh, postponed or uh, stalled later on when uh, we are in the uh, eve of new election uh, then there was a new draft which is very very serious i don't know who is behind mm. uh, this drafting process and uh, this circulation but uh, really the uh, terminologies terms and conditions uh, mentioned in uh, that draft are very very serious which cannot be never which cannot be accepted from nepal side mm. so we should be careful that during the transition mm. uh, such type of uh, efforts may be happen in the future as well mm. so um, all political parties government should be very careful uh, about the time frame as well and it should uh, develop a broader understanding uh, in major political parties and concerning institutions like nepal army uh, to take any uh, decision on this sensitive on such type of sensitive issues hope the political parties and the leaders will maintain some sort of transparency clarity and also retrospection in the days ahead uh, yeah um, it is a big big lesson for us and uh, i hope um, uh, though uh, um, such type of uh, situation was unexpected it was unwanted but it can give us a important lesson for the future thank you so much for your valuable opinions and for your insights thank you once again uh, yes, thank you uh, thank you for you for providing me the opportunity to... uh, that's all for today's episode of sahayatra sambad we'll be back with the next episode uh, next week namaste <laughs>